What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here. I'm finally doing it, I'm finally shooting the video. I have the skate blades here, if you're wondering what I'm talking about. Uh, a while back I did a full series on getting your skates prepared, so baking them, uh, profiling them, sharpening them, and I said, I'm going to test the different radiuses. It's been a while, I'm sorry, but <laughs> we're getting the video now. So what I have in my hand is about uh, eight pairs of skate blades. Uh, we're just here at the Aurelia rink and I'm gonna head into the dressing room. We've got a little pickup hockey going on. I'm gonna put on all these different skate radiuses. I'm gonna try them out and see if I notice a difference. So, hey, let's do a little experiment. Let's go. Here's the game plan. I got all the blades right here. I'm gonna bring those out on the bench with me. And today I will be skating in the Bauer skates because they've got this trigger system. So what I'm gonna do is skate, you know, one or two shifts with a certain profile. This is the nine foot radius. I'm gonna pull that trigger, pop these out, switch to a different radius. So we've got the 11, 13, the seven, and I'll explain throughout the video what each one is supposed to feel like. And then I'm gonna tell you if it actually feels that way. Let's uh, lace them up. time out here. Usually I uh, pass the puck around for a few minutes first. How are you doing in there? Good. All right, cameraman, let's <laughs> set this up. Uh, we got one, two, oh, we only have three guys. Four, five. Oh, we both have to get out there then. Yeah. All right, well, let's, do it. let's test it out. Change these blades up. Toss right here so it's nice and stable. Nice. Kind of be like a confession booth sort of thing. <laughs> First profile I'm testing, this is the nine foot radius. This is the radius that was on it. That's what I usually play with. Uh, nine foot radius is a good all around radius. It's not too long. Uh, so the radius, I'll explain that. It's the shape of the blade. So think of it like a circle. Uh, if it's an 11 foot radius, it's an 11 foot circle. If it's a seven foot radius, it's a seven foot circle. So basically with the longer radiuses, uh, the 11s and the 13s, you have more blade on the ice. It's supposed to be better for speed, uh, for gliding, stuff like that. If you have a, a smaller radius, like a seven foot, it's supposed to be better for quick turns, agility, uh, lots of uh, movement, right? So nine foot is kind of in the middle, that's what I'm on. I'm gonna switch it out. Let's go to the seven, see what that feels like. So right skate, left skate, uh, there's the sevens, let's put them on. Oh, here we go. I tell you, these, these feel really nice. Yeah. It could just be the sharpening though. Uh, doesn't exactly just pop right out of there. Oh, come on. Whew. That was a good so, one. Yeah, there we go. I popped that one right out. Uh, so that was a seven. They felt good in the corners, uh, transition, stuff like that. Uh, glide, I mean, I didn't notice that it was like restraining me. I, I felt a little tired out there, but maybe I just didn't uh, eat my Wheaties this morning. So <laughs> we're putting a 13 in there. Uh, at least we got this lined up. And I'll see if I do notice a difference because we're going from one extreme to the other. All right. Now what I'm supposed to feel is a better glide, but in the corners, not as easy to do those uh, quick turns, those transitions, stuff like that. So head out there and see how it feels. I can definitely feel like there's, there's more blade on the ice. You can feel that for sure. Yeah.
shift report while we're looking for bucks. Uh, they almost feel heavier. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I guess there would be more steel. To notice that is pretty crazy, but definitely notice the, the extra blade. Some guys uh, change their sticks when they're not scoring. You know, I gotta change my skate blades. You gotta, you gotta go real deep. Stick ain't working, skates ain't working. Definitely notice the difference in the corners, like the, the tight turns, transitions, all that stuff. It's different from a seven foot through. So these 13s, you definitely feel the difference in the glide. Um, it feels like a, a touring skate. You can just sort of glide the, uh, the turns. You do notice the extra toe and the extra heel there. I, uh, I didn't think I would notice that big of a difference. We're going from a seven to a 13, it's, it's significant. Uh, I think the 11 might be uh, better, not as extreme. I remember in the shop talking to uh, Glenn who, who sharpened and profiled these. He said that not very many guys go with the 13. He's Most guys today would be using 11 or less. The, the, the days of the 13 are pretty much gone. Mm -hmm. um, I used a 13, I'm using an 11 now. I just, I, you know, a long stride, you gotta, your legs gotta be really strong. A lot of guys, they have to be quick. Um, so you don't wanna go all the way to, to a 13. Uh, if you want more of a glide, go to the 11. And he did say the nine is the most common radius for anyone out there. And that's one that I use. By the end of this video, I'm gonna have a lot of extra pairs of LS4 steel, uh, nearly brand new. So probably give these away, huh? Next up are the 11s. And uh, if we got enough time, at the very end, I'll throw a 13 in one and uh, a seven in the other and see if it really messes me up. I think that's in there. <laughs> the heels definitely clicked in the toe. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Boys are getting tired out here. I can feel the energy. This is when you bring out the toe drags. <laughs> no, I always like to play to the pace of the game, you know? If they're not going too hard, you go easy, make lots of passes. Come on, Yep. Yep. Fast change. We got like two minutes left. Interesting test so far. I didn't think that I would notice the difference that much, but definitely do going from one to the other. Right now the Zamboni is on and I just put the 13 in this skate and the seven in this skate. So we're gonna do a quick lap after he gets off and I'll do a true side-by-side -side test. And then after that, I'll give you my final thoughts on the different radiuses and which ones I recommend. Something I've been trying the last few games is not lacing the top eyelet. Uh, it's a personal preference really, but what I've noticed is that you do get a little bit more agility uh, more movement. I kind of like the feeling actually, but I f find that the laces are they come loose and then you just got to tighten them up again after maybe a couple periods. All right, Zamboni's off. Let's get out there. Oh, yeah, you can feel it. I'd say the easiest way to describe it is you have more toe and more heel. You, it's, a, it's a slight, but yeah, you definitely notice it. Um, a little bit nicer glide with the 13, seven. You're kind of more um, spin faster, quicker transitions. Uh, yeah, better if you're moving your feet a lot. That's, that's how I would say it. If you're the type of guy, always moving your feet, crossing over, uh, switching edges, stuff like that. So you go with a seven or nine. Um, more of a defenseman, I'd say go with 11. The 13 seemed really extreme to me, but if you just kind of want to glide around a lot out there, go with the 13, you might like it. I've been keeping this steel in my garage for the longest time so I could shoot this video, but now that the video is done, I do not need it anymore. So if you skate in Bowers and you want some LS4 steels, this is the 288. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at HowToHockey, and I'll ship this stuff out to somebody. See you guys in the next video.